do you see any kind of growth and how satisfied and how optimistic you are about this progress uh, this season? Yeah, I thought I thought Corey Corey really um, you know it helps when the ball goes in a little bit, but we've been really pleased with how gritty he's played. He's been on the floor, creating turnovers, getting loose balls, um, very unselfish offensively, creating shots for other people. And then tonight, um, you know, and that's part of what we were doing. He was in a few more situations that gave him some different kinds of looks and was very effective with it. So I, I think he's done a great job using the time and the experience that he's had over these two weeks. And how beneficial is this process about his game, about his growth for the upcoming season? And how he, from your perspective, how he's going to fit with the players of uh, Washington Wizards this season? Yeah. Oh, I think there's a great benefit. I really do. The fact that he, you know, has an idea. He's playing in NBA caliber games. Um, he's he's having, you know, we're, we're doing some different things that he's had to adapt and adjust to, which is was what the game is about, you know, being able to make these adjustments. So I think this time is, is great. And, and as um, heady as he's been, has he, he, his approach to this has really allowed him to take full advantage of it. So he's, he's a guy, as we're seeing, he, he does a lot of things out there, but I think he's going to be able to fit well Uh, with the group that we have. So that's exciting to see that and uh, look forward to seeing that all come together. Thank you very much. Jim. Hi, Coach. Uh, just on in relation to Corey's athleticism uh, in terms of his ability to get up the court and in terms of his ability to shoot the tree in terms of big guy, does he offer a range of attacking options? He seems like he can shoot behind the arc. He can go to the net as well when he needs to be. Is he that versatility? Is that going to stand him well in the NBA? I think so. I think so. He's showing that. Obviously, you know, guys have reputations when they come in. And, and because he's an outstanding deep shooter, he has that reputation. But I think you saw today, he put the ball on the floor. He was playmaking a little bit. Um, He, he obviously is, he sees things very well, which helps open things up for his teammates. So, you know, I think he has really a nice skill package to fit in well. Chris. Hey coach, uh, I just want to ask you about uh, Isaiah Todd. Uh, I know he's on a little bit of a different trajectory than all the other players getting up to speed, um, missing some time earlier. Um, is he now um, up to speed and do you feel like he's at kind of his full potential, what he can do? Well, I, I think he, he knows enough that he's out there playing. And I think it's, I think it's impressive to the fact that he had a chance to go through practice these last couple of days. And then he's had the experience of these two games and he's playing a lot off of his instincts and, and his abilities right now. Um, I don't think he has had enough of, Uh, the reps that we've done throughout, you know, the, the short training camp or the practices. So, you know, I think, I think he's learning this on the fly, but I think, you know, we're seeing him do some things well, but again, I think it's going to push his learning so much farther forward by being able to do this. Thanks coach. If there's any in-person questions. Well, it, it always feels good. If we're keeping score, it always feels good to win. And, and I think just for, for these guys, I mean, these, these guys have been an outstanding group. They've worked hard and, and they've been resilient. And, you know, it, it hasn't been easy, but, you know, what is? So I think, you know, there are a lot of lessons in this summer league for us to learn. And I think we're taking advantage of those lessons at this point. I really do. I think it's, it's going to serve us well. Well, I, I think they kind of stuck with what we're doing. I think we, you know, haven't played a couple of games now and being able to go through some things and, and uh, the recognition is better. And, you know, the one thing that we talked about is when we have problems on the court, we solve them together. 
and I think you know the the trust is a little bit better. I think their feel is a little bit better for what we're trying to do. And I thought we helped each other well tonight during those stretches. I thought our shots, even though we got behind in that one segment in the first quarter, I thought our shots were better. I thought we were helping each other get good shots. Um, and and I thought you know we were celebrating each other's success. Uh, so you know I think it's a it's good. It's good for them to feel that. I would like to ask you, last season you were playing G League. How beneficial was that, uh, that process for you? And how better player do you feel right now? Um, I'd honestly say it helped me a ton, man. Like, to be able to come into a situation like this and not have, you know, to have only had one full day of practice and uh, just to hop out there and kind of, you know, just use what I learned last year and some of the things we got from the walkthroughs. Uh, It helped tremendously. I was just telling somebody, you know, I don't think I'd be able to hop out there and just kind of freestyle and, and, and uh, you know, link in with the guys as well as I did um, this summer league if I hadn't, you know, had the fundamentals uh, that I got from Team Ignite. Thank you very much. Chris. Hey, Isaiah. Uh, I just want to ask about um, how you're getting up to speed with, with – playing alongside all the other players and everything like that. Do you feel like you're uh, up to speed or do you feel like you still are, are lagging behind a little bit? Slowly but surely. Uh, I think that, you know, I might be one step behind as far as, you know, uh, conditioning, um, coming out, you know, quarantine and just hopping out there with the guys, like I said. Um, but other than that, you know, the concepts are pretty basic. Uh, it's not too many different ways you can play basketball. Um, you know, I, per I picked up on the things kind of quick that coach, coach wanted me to pick up on. And, you know, we'll just keep building from that. Thanks, Isaiah. Appreciate it. Jim. Hi, Isaiah. Many people tonight will look at the eight points, but in terms of your stats throughout the game, seven rebounds, one assist, one steal, two blocks. So all facets of your game tonight were up to strength, really, in terms of rebounding, in terms of steals, in terms of block shots. So you must be delighted with that. It's not only the scores that wins games, it's all those other major factors. And you were on top of that tonight. Um, I honestly say, you know, I just tried to uh, contribute to the, you know, the team winning as much as I can. Um, I found myself, you know, not scoring. Um, you know, I tried to get in there and get some rebounds. And that was, you know, an area that I want to improve on and still trying to improve on. Um, and everything else, you know, just within the flow of the game, not having too many mental lapses. You know, once you lock in, you can get those steals. You can get those extra boards and blocks. Cheers, Isaiah. Thank you. That's it for the Zoom. Oh, one question. Nope, I think April, did you have a question? Yes, ma'am. So how do you continue to build defensive consistency moving forward? Um, you know, I think that comes with, you know, more time with the team, learn the rotation, uh, you know, learn how to have one and a half guys at all times. Um, and just having your head on a swivel and again, cutting down on those mental lapses. What? From the beginning of uh, this process in Vegas, what was the biggest adjustment of your game and what did you see as your biggest progress so far? Since the beginning of Summer League, is that what you asked? Yes, yes. Oh, um, I think it's just getting used to playing with each other. Um, I think that was the biggest thing, um, just being able to gel as a group. And, you know, you saw it out there today. If we play well together, um, you know, great things happen for everybody. You know, guys were getting wide open looks and we were playing really well. Um, with a lot of energy. So, I mean, that was the biggest thing more than even like the pace of the game or, uh, you know, any, anything like technical like that. And for the upcoming season, how beneficial for you is to have those games under your belt and how you vision yourself in the team in uh, the upcoming season? Yeah, well, I mean, reps are everything for me right now. I mean, I've, these are my first couple NBA games I've ever played. And Um, you know, even these games are eight minutes shorter than a regular NBA game. So um, every time I can get a rep in, get shots up, um, play on the floor, uh, just be in different situations, it's great for me. And um, to be honest with you, um, I, don't, I don't know what my role is going to be when I get there. I'm just, I'm just looking to um, get to camp, play hard, and fit in where I can, um, whatever, you know, that role may be. So, um, you know, we have a lot of new guys on the team, so I, I'm sure that'll get shaken out pretty quickly. Uh, but I'm looking forward to making it happen. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. April? Corey, during halftime, you mentioned ball finds energy. What helped spark that momentum? 
what helped spark that momentum for you today and what changed about your approach? Yeah, I mean, just being engaged off the ball and a lot of it has to do with the other four guys on the floor too. I mean, it's not, it's just not just something that I can do. It's, it's, it's everybody that brings energy and the ball's popcorn around and we're making the defense move. And, you know, all of a sudden we're wide open for a three pointer. And um, that's the beauty of this game is that, you know, when you play well, the, the games, the, the basketball gods reward you. So, um, you know, it was really good to see us play at Brandon basketball today. And of course it resulted in a win. So um, twice as good. Neil. Hey, Corey, uh, you guys have been able to get some practices now. What have you, what has stood out to you about Coach Unseld um, that you think, you know, really struck you in a way? Yeah, he's got great energy. You know, he's got a passion for the game and um, his practices are spirited um, and they're competitive. And, uh, you know, he gets in on drills too every once in a, once in a while and, um, you know, shows he's still got it. And so to have a coach who's willing to kind of get in there and um, take, take reps with you, you're, you know, you're more that much more willing to, uh, play for him. So, I mean, it's been, you know, all good things from Coach Unseld, just from my perspective. And I'm really happy he's uh, here in D.C. with us. He's going to be a great fit. So I'm really excited. Thanks, Corey. Jim. Hi, Corey. Uh, I was just wondering, Corey, about your range in terms of your ability to shoot that deep tree from beyond the arc. Uh, growing up, was there any sort of player that you sort of modeled your technique on in terms of shooting that three pointer in terms of your style. It's very sort of, you, you have a sort of a fluid motion in terms of how you shoot that tree. Was there any sort of player you sort of modeled that on? Yeah, my whole, yeah. Technique -wise? My whole like middle school and high school life, even in the college, it was Clay Thompson. I'm um, just seeing how he's, you know, made an amazing career for himself out in the, out in the Bay area. Um, just by moving without the ball and the way he shoots it from deep, it, it just opens up the whole floor for the Warriors. So, um, you know, for as long as I can remember, it's been Clay. And then when I was little, I watched a lot of Ray Allen. I went and played for the Sonics, too. Cheers, Corey. Jackson. Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit of both. Um, definitely felt like, you know, it's third, the third game out there, like, I felt more comfortable. Um, you know, I felt like the game kind of slowed down a little bit for me, but, you know, also the shots fell. Like, probably took the same amount of shots as I did in the first couple of games, but, you know, when the ball finds the bottom of the net, um, you know, things feel a little bit easier. So uh, it's just, you know, taking it game by game and taking, it what, uh, taking what it gives you.